Hey guys, want to have your recipe featured on one of my future videos? I have come up with recipe of the week. All you have to do is send me an email to have a seat at Nikki's table at gmail.com and be subscribed to my channel in order to enter. Good luck! Okay guys, to get started on this casserole, we're going to be making our own Spanish rice. So I'm going to turn the heat on to medium high heat. And then I'm going to drop a one tablespoon of olive oil into my pot and let it start warming up. Okay, I'm just going to pick this pan up and make sure that oil is evenly coated down the bottom. And I've already uh, chopped up my yellow onion, my green bell pepper, and my red bell pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and start throwing it into the pot so we can get started on our Spanish rice. Okay, now that I've grabbed my spoon, I'm going to go ahead and give this a mix and give it evenly coated in the oil. And we're going to let this cook for oh, about two to three minutes and let it cook uh, before we start putting other ingredients with it. Okay, this has been cooking for about a minute or two, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out one teaspoon of minced garlic and put that right in with the onion and the peppers. And we're going to give that a mix, and we're going to make sure that our garlic doesn't burn. And we have our heat on medium-high. So we're just going to saute this for a few minutes and get that garlic cooking with the onion and the peppers. And we're going to add in our rice. Okay, here I have measured out two cups of rice. This is basmati rice. Um, I use this when I make my Spanish rice and it always turns out perfect. It's never sticky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown the rice with the vegetables um, until the rice becomes like a light golden brown color. Uh, very, very light. You don't wanna overcook your rice. So we're just gonna toast this just a few minutes and then we're gonna put other things with it. As a reminder, hit that subscribe button, that bell, and that like button. And don't forget, if you want to enter Recipe of the Week, all you have to do is email me at haveaseatatnikkistable at gmail.com. And you have to be subscribed in order to enter. So, good luck to you, and I hope your recipe is featured in the next video. So here I have tomato bouillon. This is what I use when I use my soups and um, my Spanish rice. So we're going to continue to toast this rice and get it to a light golden brown. I don't toast it too long. I just want it to be nice and toasted. And then I'm going to measure out four cups of water. And to that water, I'm going to be putting one tablespoon of the Nor chicken tomato bouillon um, to flavor up our Spanish rice. Okay, so I'm giving this one last stir and making sure everything is um, nicely toasted together. And we are going to start putting in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab my four cups of water that I've already put one tablespoon of bouillon in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the entire contents into the pot. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, turn down the heat on this and I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, now that we have our cumin in there, we're going to go ahead and measure out one teaspoon of 
garlic powder and put that in. Okay, now we're going to measure out our onion powder and we're going to also put one teaspoon of onion powder in with everything else. Also, paprika. I'm going to put one teaspoon of paprika in. And last but not least, I'm going to go grab me some Rotel. So one can of Rotel goes in the pot. Okay, so we're going to give this a mix, make sure everything is well incorporated together. And we are going to lower the heat to low, and we're going to let this simmer without touching it for at least 15 to 20 minutes or until the rice is tender. So let's put the lid on and leave it on, not to touch it, for 20 minutes. Okay, just making sure my flame is at a low level and let's go ahead and start on our ground meat. Okay, so here I have my ground meat. I've already broken it up into the skillet. Some of it was still kind of frozen, so I'm going to have to work with it in order to get it cooked. But it'll all work out. So we're going to go ahead and break this all up, and then I'm going to start putting my seasonings with it. So let's cook it up, and then we're going to drain it and wash the fat off, and we're going to put it right back in the pan. It took me just a little bit to um, get this cooked up because it was frozen. Um, I had put it out um, like two hours prior to me cooking and it wasn't thawed out all the way. But uh, you can use uh, ground turkey for this recipe and you can also use venison. I think that would be great. But if you use venison, make sure you put a little bit of oil with it because venison is very, very lean. Okay, so it looks like our meat is just about ready to go and uh, drain and wash the fat off. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, there is my uh, ground meat that I have drained and washed. It's going to go right back into this skillet. And what I'm going to do is start putting seasonings with my ground meat. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the meat. Uh, maybe a half a teaspoon will go on top of the meat. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab me some onion powder. And like the garlic powder, I'm just going to sprinkle it on until it covers the meat. Maybe a half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to put a um, half a teaspoon of salt on the meat. So let's go ahead and heat this up. Start sauteing it. And we'll put our... Um, taco seasoning on there so this is McCormick I like the Taco Bell seasoning better but um, this is all I had so I went ahead and put that down in there and um, since I went ahead and drained the grease off I'm going to add a, just a little bit of water with it so we can start mixing in all of the seasonings okay we're going to give it a stir mix in all of that taco seasoning in with that meat and as I go I'm going to add just a little bit more water and then I'm going to put in my beans. So I'm using black beans um, for this recipe. You can use kidney beans or pinto beans. Um, but today I'm using uh, the Bush's uh, black beans. These are the Bush's black beans and they're perfect for this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add the whole can in with my meat and give it a mix and turn off the heat and we'll start assembling our uh, casserole. Okay, let's go check out our rice and see how it looks. There's our Spanish rice. It came out really good with the basmati rice. It's nice and tender and fluffy and now we can start our casserole. So here is our casserole dish. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to spray 
the bottom of our casserole dish with cooking spray uh, just to make sure that our corn tortillas do not stick to the pan. So um, first we're going to get um, some corn tortillas and you can put them down in whole if you would like but I just break them off and I throw them down in the bottom of the pan until the whole entire pan is covered in corn tortilla. Now, sometimes um, when I'm making this, if I have some time on my hands, I will go ahead and heat the tortillas up first and then break them down into the bottom of the pan. But today I just say, you know what, it's going to get hot in the oven anyway, so I'm just going to take my corn tortillas and just break them up and cover the entire pan with the tortillas and just go ahead and layer my casserole. So here I've got the first layer of corn tortillas down and now we're going to add in our rice. Okay, now we're going to start with our rice. We're going to make sure we cover up all of the tortilla that's in the bottom of the pan. So just take you some rice and spread it out evenly throughout the pan until you get it all covered. Okay, it looks even throughout the pan. So let's go ahead and grab our meat and our beans. And we're gonna go ahead and add that layer of meat and beans and spread it out evenly through the pan on top of the rice. Okay, this is looking really, really good. So now we're going to add our cheddar cheese. Now I'm using uh, mild cheddar cheese. You can also use Monterey Jack or a Mexican blend cheese. Uh, this is what I had in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and just layer um, the first layer of cheese down with mild cheddar cheese. Okay, I'm just evenly um, spreading it out there. We don't want to put too much on the first layer, but we're going to go ahead and start the process all over again until we get everything used in our pans. So let's go ahead and keep layering this until we get it all done. Okay guys, this is all nice and done and then layered. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it in a 400 degree uh, oven and let it bake for at least 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and put it inside the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay guys, it is now 20 minutes later and there she is. She's all nice and bubbly and cheesy and ready to eat. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon and the like button. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.